Good morning, brothers and sisters, and greetings in the strong name of Christ. Uh, welcome to this special edition of our morning devotionals. We haven't been doing these for a while, but um, man, I just wanted to do this and miss this opportunity, so decided I would indulge myself and go ahead and uh, take this chance to share with you this morning. Um, these are hard days for many of us. I want you to be encouraged in Christ to know that your struggle is seen, to know that your service and your faithfulness is known by God, and uh, just to rely on the Spirit as He moves in you and as He just grants those little victories and those ways that you see Him alive in your life. I was encouraged this morning in reading in 1 John. I read uh, the first chapter of 1 John, short chapter, but two quick thoughts I want to share with you. He starts by saying, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands. And later he says, um, we have seen it and we testify to it and we proclaim it to you. What John is proclaiming is not just uh, something he saw on social media. It's not something he heard about third hand or there was a cool meme or a clip or a highlight or even a, a newscast about it. He is proclaiming what has happened in his life. Um, brothers and sisters, can, can you say this morning and can you say of your week that you have something to proclaim because you've experienced it personally? That's what Christ desires for you and for me. I know for myself all week long, um, I've been in, in contact with people who are hurting, who are frustrated, um, who are isolated. And, and at the same time, I've been in contact with people telling stories of how they've been reaching out or how teams have come together to minister to people, of answered prayer, of how God has been at work or how they personally have felt prompted. What is the bridge between these two gaps? It's, it's us seeking the Lord and asking Him to be at work in our lives personally. And if you're hurting, invite Him in. Invite some people in. He is there for you to experience now. I want to have a, a, an experience of God for myself that I can proclaim to others, and not so that I just can proclaim, but just so I can stand before my Lord in joy. Later on in 1 John 1, um, John writes, he says, If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. It's such a powerful theme in John about living in the light and having fellowship with the Father and with the Son. This is why John writes this letter, because he is jealous for his recipients to walk in the light and to have rich fellowship. Friends, this is what Christ wants for us. This is what God, this is what the Spirit wants for you today, to walk in the light, to experience the Father and the Son and to have fellowship. A lot of things going on, a lot of things to be frustrated about in this season. But you know what really matters for eternity, we can say with certainty, is that you would walk in the light. You're going to sin. I'm going to sin. But even as it's right here in the middle of this passage, we simply confess and get back up and keep walking. And he cleanses us and he bathes us in the light and he lets us walk in his grace and experience him. Pray you'd be encouraged this morning. Pray with me, would you? Our God and our King, we come to you scattered and thrown abroad and distanced. Some of us feel lonely and forgotten. Some of us are just hurting and aching for the difficulties of this season. Many of us are just burdened with the troubles of our world, even the pains of those we love and what they're going through right now. Lord our God, hear our prayer. Come and be with us. Be near, O Lord, that we might taste and see and handle and know and experience that you are good and that we might testify, that we might then proclaim it to others. And Lord, give us a, a renewed zeal and a passion to walk in the light. It is rich in the light. You bathe us in your love. It is good. You are better than anything else we could ever desire. Help us today to walk in your light. And when we stumble, Cleanse us, help us confess and be forgiven, and get up and walk with you. We want to have fellowship with you today. Would you do that in us, and would you be glorified, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, friends. Have a great Saturday.